What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and well we're in June and you know what that means, it is almost time for the Euros. Now this is a tournament that I've been looking forward to for a long time, it is what's going to help me and millions of other football fans get through this horribly painful boring summer so i think even though yes we've still got a couple of friendlies to play they're friendlies let's get into the meat and bones of this tournament and let's predict who we think is going to win the euros who's going to win every group who's going to finish second who's going to knock who out and see who we truly believe will win the euros will it be the home nation germany are france gonna win another big tournament or will finally england bring it home So what we're going to use today is a really, really cool tool that I noticed on a YouTube video. I think it might have been on the Telegraph's YouTube channel itself. The Telegraph have created a fantastic group table and knockout predictor on the website for the Euros, where we can basically predict who we think will finish first, second, third and fourth in every group. That will then basically automatically fill the knockout stages as well as the third place sides who we think will get through and then we will pick the winner of each knockout until we get oh try special election offer oh god no thanks before we then get all the way down to the finals so will england finally bring it home or will they fall short once again let's get stuck into it so group a we've got germany scotland hungary and switzerland now this is quite a tough group because germany are the home nation which i think is a huge factor and one that cannot be understated i think they will perform at their home grounds in their home nation in front of their home fans they will be a force to beat but scotland had a fantastic qualifying campaign as well and although they didn't finish it as strongly they come second to spain i believe and impressed massively hungary weren't too bad either i think they went unbeaten in their group i think they even topped it too with switzerland coming second in their group behind romania so i think germany will win this group i think as i say home advantage will play a massive massive part it's between hungary and scotland i think who comes second and i just feel like in major tournaments scotland never turn up and despite having a fantastic qualifying campaign don't quite think they'll pull it through and that's not me saying it because i'm english i promise so i'm gonna put hungary in second scotland are gonna finish third switzerland fourth although scotland might might be in for a third place playoff position we'll find that out as we get to the end of the group stages group b we've got spain croatia italy and albania now spain are a clear favorite for me they absolutely dominated their group whereas croatia comes second in a weak group i would say they even finished second to turkey we've got italy who scraped through their group on goal difference and albania who i would like to say are probably the big outsiders in this one so spain are undoubtedly going to be the favorites for me it's between croatia and italy now i'd normally back italy when it comes to major tournaments but it is quite sad to see where italy are compared to where they were a few years ago and i still cannot believe we lost in the final of euro 2020 i still will never ever get over that so it's a toss-up between croatia and italy but my gut says italy will just do it they'll find a way don't know how but i think they'll edge out croatia will finish third and albania will finish bottom group c we've got slovenia denmark serbia and of course now it's pretty obvious to say england will be favorites for this group we aren't in the best of form but we come through qualifying unscathed as we always do and then it's a bit of a toss-up between the other sides slovenia and denmark i believe were in each other's group and they finished joint top so they're sort of equal as close to equal as it could possibly get whereas serbia were second in their group so i am going to put england to win Slovenia and Denmark, it's an absolute flip of a coin. But my gut says Denmark to finish second, Slovenia third, Serbia bottom. Group D, this is an interesting one because you've got both France and the Netherlands in there. Of course, France speak for themselves. Unbelievable team. Sort of not the favourites. I think England are the favourites with some bookies, which is a scary thought. But France are right up there and rightfully so with the team they have. Of course, they destroyed their group, their big favourites going in. Netherlands finished second. I believe it might have been in the same group 
as France actually, but they win, won their last three in qualifying, so they were in pretty decent form. But then equally, you've got Austria, who did well in their group, finishing second just behind Belgium, and Poland, who were in fairness a third place playoff side. So looking at the qualifying, you'd have to say France, and they did just finish ahead of Netherlands. This is quite an easy group to judge. Netherlands will probably be second with Austria finishing in a narrow third, possibly Poland are likely to be fourth. Group E, we've got Belgium, Slovakia, Romania and Ukraine. Now, Belgium were pretty dominant in their group and I think this is probably the last chance saloon for their golden generation to win anything. But they should come through this group pretty easily. Slovakia was second in a weakish group. Romania are my outsiders. They won their group and I think... Uh, Pretty big dark horses for this tournament, in my opinion. Ukraine were another third place playoff side, of course. As I said, they just lost out to Italy on goal difference. So, I am going to go Belgium to win. But I wouldn't be surprised if Romania were to win too. Um, or win the group. But I do think they'll get through. I'm looking forward to seeing Romania, actually. And then, I think Slovakia, Ukraine, it's a toss-up. I'll probably go Slovakia third, Ukraine fourth. And the final group is Group F. Now, this is a pretty obvious group, I think. Turkey won a fairly weak group. Georgia making their first ever major international tournament, I believe. I think they won through the playoffs and yet they finished fourth in their group. But I think they went through, maybe beat Greece on penalties to get here. So it's obviously a big tournament for them. But I think they are the weakest side in it. Portugal won all 10 of their qualifying games, which is ridiculous. And the Czech Republic were second behind Albania in their group. So Portugal should absolutely walk this one and then it's tough i think turkey being winners of their group you'd put them second czech republic obviously come second in their group and georgia are absolute outsiders so i think this is a pretty easy group to say czech republic third unfortunately for georgia they're going to finish fourth so now we can pick our best third place ranking side so i think we just rank each of the third place sides and maybe the top four have an outside chance or is it just the first one not too sure how this works in terms of third place sides i have a feeling let's have a little look through the groups again because i think austria might have a chance because when france and holland play each other they're going to take points off of one another so i think austria might have the opportunity to win a couple of points beating poland I'm getting a little bit closer to the top two than maybe other sides will. Croatia, you could say the same for them with Spain and Italy in their group. Um, Slovenia, probably not. Austria, France and Netherlands. It's tough, isn't it? It really is tough. I think I'm going to go with my gut. I've got a good feeling about Austria. I am going to put... <laughs> oh, am I going to put Croatia second or Scotland? I'm going to put Scotland second. Croatia third. Third, Slovenia, Slovakia, and the Czech Republic. That's a guess. It's a complete guess, to be honest, for the third place ranking. That's what I'll go with. And I'll see how that sort of shapes the knockouts. So in the round of 16, that puts Scotland up against Spain. Austria play England. Croatia, are they in there? They play Belgium. Maybe Slovenia qualify into the knockouts as well. Yeah, they've got Portugal. Slovakia and Czech Republic mustn't make it through. So... Let's have a look at the round of 16. So, Germany, Denmark. Again, I'm going to back Germany as the home nation. Hungary, Italy is now a very interesting one. Because I got Italy to scrape through, but not convincingly. I actually think Hungary could get through rather comfortably in second. I'm going to put Hungary to beat Italy. Genuinely. England have struggled against Hungary. I think we've played them in a couple of... I don't know if they were friendlies or Nation League games. I can't recall. But we've struggled against Hungary. They're not to be underestimated. I'm going to put Hungary through over Italy. Spain will beat Scotland. I don't think Scotland will get any further than the knockouts. England, Austria. Now that could be a banana skin for England. But we should get through. So I'll back us there. Portugal will beat Slovenia. Oh. Netherlands, Romania. Now, I think in these predictions, you've got to have a really bold outside shot to really spice it up. And the Netherlands are looking good, don't get me wrong. But I think Romania are one to watch. And if I was to go with a real outside pick, because so far we've picked up the outright favourites, I'm going to go Romania. I'm going to go Romania to shock Holland. There's going to be a shock somewhere, let's be fair. Not every big team are going to stroll through the round of 16 
I'm going to put Romania to beat the Netherlands. Now, this one could be tough as well. Belgium, Croatia. I think Croatia have the ability to upset Belgium as well. And we've seen Belgium get into great positions in past big tournaments. And with the team they have, they've bottled it. Reminding me very much of the golden generation of the England teams. But I think Belgium will edge Croatia. This this will be a, a tough game for them. Their quality should shine through, but I think they'll beat Croatia. And I have absolutely no doubt that France will beat Turkey. Quarterfinals then. So, Germany, Spain. Oof. Portugal, Romania. Belgium, France. England, Hungary. England playing Hungary once again. Oh dear. So, Germany, Spain. Oh my god, this is so difficult. This is the toughest of the, the four quarterfinals. I can't stop thinking about Germany's home advantage. And I just... God, Spain. Spain on their day are so good, aren't they? Oh, this is so difficult. This is so tough. I'm going to put Spain. I, there's a real part of me that thinks Germany will just get one step further to the semi-finals with them being the hosts. But Spain are a good team. And they've got a really good young side. So I'm going to put Spain to beat Germany. I might live to regret that. Portugal are playing Romania. Now I'm getting Portugal-Morocco vibes here. From the World Cup, was it? I think Morocco knocked out Portugal in the World Cup. Oh, I've just got a good feeling about Romania. But I can't get it out of my head that Portugal absolutely walked qualifying. But oh, do I fancy Romania to get to the semis? Oh, I don't. I'm sorry. I'm going to go Portugal. I'd love Romania to do it. There's every chance they might. But I'm going to put Portugal through. Uh, no, I'm not. Romania are going to do it. We're all in. We're all in for Romania. They're going to knock out Portugal. And we're going to see Cristiano Ronaldo. And we're going to see Cristiano Ronaldo laying on his back on the centre spot. Crying his eyes out before. Probably then getting escorted back to the dressing room. Leaving a flood of tears behind him, which we all love to see, don't we? Belgium, France. France are going to get through. And then it's up to England. Can they beat their bogey team, Hungary? This has England, Iceland, any other huge knockout game where England should get through, but they don't, written all over it. Our recent record against Hungary is pretty shaky, but I'm going to back us to get through on quality. So I'm going to put England to get through to the semi-finals. And these are the semis then. So Spain will play Romania. Would have been Portugal. It's not going to matter in a minute, regardless. And then we've got France again. It's a rematch from the World Cup, where of course we fell just short. Now I am going to put Spain to beat Romania. I don't think they'll get as far as the final. And even if it was Portugal, I'd have probably had Spain to beat Portugal anyway. And even if it's Germany who beat Spain, I'd fancy Germany to get through. So this is this is Spain or Germany's final. And then do I back England to beat France and make the final of the Euros? God. Every single ounce of my heart is telling me that this is our time where we do it, where we've got such a great side, it'll click in what's probably Southgate's final tournament. Every single cell of my heart is saying we'll beat France, but then equally, every single atom of my brain is telling me that we won't because it's England and we've been here before so often and we just don't quite get over the line. I'm going to go France. Oh, I'm going to go France. I think with England, it's just one of them. Until you've seen us do it, it's impossible to back us. We're just... its All of our hopes are pinned on what-ifs and hopes of what might happen as opposed to what hasn't happened. And France are serial winners. They've played in big matches. They've won in big matches. England haven't. We lost in the Euros final to Italy. We lost to Croatia. In the World Cup prior, we lost, obviously, in the most recent World Cup to France again. In all the big games, England have just fallen short when we've been on the brink of something special. And this is the same. If I wasn't English, I would be backing France, undoubtedly. I'm going to go with my head and back France again. Although every single part of me, head or heart, hopes I'm wrong.
And then you've got Spain or France in the final of Euro 2024. And I think this will be another belter. But I think France have got it in the bag. I think they might be coming to the end of their dominance as such. Maybe they've just passed their peak. But I still think they've got more than enough in them to win another major tournament. And I think they'll beat Spain in the final. And France will be the winners of Euro 2024. And 24% of players who have went through this predictor have also predicted France. Which I think is quite a lot given the teams in this. I think England will probably be another one. Germany might get backed being the home nation as well. But I'm going to put my heart to one side and predict that France will win Euro 2024. For extra context, which I would have seen had I bothered to scroll down a bit, it does give the top three most fancied teams by people who have took part in this little predictor. And as we predicted, France are the side who are most fancied to win. The 24% of players who predicted France is the majority, but only just with England coming in a close second with 22% of readers predicting that they'll finally bring it home. And Germany, the home nation, are third by a small margin. They're the third most well fancied team predicted to win Euro 2024. So let me know your predictions in the comment section below, guys. I'll leave a link to this in the comments. It's such a fun predictor that you can do in literally 30 seconds. So let me know your thoughts. Also share with me if you do this very predictor and who you think will win Euro 2024, whether it's England. And if it's not, let me know how far you think England will get in this tournament. And if you've enjoyed this video, do it a like on it. Do subscribe for much more content here on the channel. I might do a few more England-related videos throughout the Euros and comment below your thoughts as always. But until next time, guys, do take care. And I'll see you all in the next one. Au revoir.